Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my t Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the date for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters 29 years of age. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Brussels, Belgium, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Alright, we're the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Wow. Superboy gets caught with that punch. Oh, a huge block there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. 
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy, only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. There with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Hook to the body here, blocked by Chor. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch there. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Nice kick there by Short. Just out of range with that strike. Shots being landed on both sides here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Another clinch position. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. The next with a right. Joy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, that right hand is on point. The right hand just misses. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, man. Jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: it does not feel good. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Well, what a round it was, Daniel Cormier. You are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off, and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet, or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. 
Just misses there with the left. Slips the punch nicely there. Right hook to the hand block. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Nice right in. Just misses with the jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. Trying to get the knees going. Oh, tagged him again with a flush left hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Just misses with the right hook. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him? He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice straight punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, Superman punch is good. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Look at the whip action that comes from the that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough to even be on his feet right now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Got clip with the right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Spinning back fist. Big leg kick land. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, that's a good counter there. The straight punch lands by Choi. Oh, nice. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice punch there by Chor. Pretty good right hand. Big elbow there, Lance. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Big power shot there. Wow, what a huge shot for All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. 
All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Big leg kick land. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, collar tie. That one snuck in. Nice strike. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on beat. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliante has called a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done.